I don't think they know we're in here. Don't move. They 100% know we're <laughs> Dude, he's trying to blowtorch the door. We already have it. Killed one? Closing it? No, I'm dead. There's two more. I got one. Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you where all the vaults are located on all the maps in Marauders. These vaults are very cool locations. They're jam-packed with rare and valuable loot. And they're very much worth your time and consideration if you're raiding in Marauders. First things first, you're going to need a blowtorch if you want to get into these vaults. You can find blowtorches randomly on the maps in containers. But a more consistent way I found them is in these tubs. You need a lockpick to open these tubs, but they do spawn blowtorches. So remember to bring lockpicks and check these tubs if you're looking for a blowtorch. The other thing I will mention about the blowtorch itself is it has 250 durability. And you use about roughly 75, give or take, opening one vault. So by that math, you can get into about three vaults with one blowtorch. And then you might even find another fresh blowtorch in the vault. So it is a nice little steamroll potential type thing where you can just keep hitting vaults if you're consistently getting out alive. Okay, so first location is the spaceport. You might dock in a different place each time and this map is kind of a maze. So the best way I can describe finding this vault location is you want to get over to this main area with the bar sign, the big circular room. Otherwise, if you're coming in from the second floor, you'll see a sign that says market. You kind of want to follow that around until you find this room. It's located down on the first floor past the bar. There's going to be a little locked room on the left here with the little coin purse you can loot if you want. And then, yeah, you just head up here. You burn the three locks off and you are in. One little general rule of looting in these vaults is you're going to find a lot of weapons with decent ammo in them. So one thing you should be doing if you're not going to take the gun is at least empty the ammo out of them and hold on to that for future raids. Alright, so next up's the terraforming map. This one's going to seem a little more complicated than it is. It's actually really easy to find the vault here. So you're going to dock over on the research side of things and you're going to want to look for this tunnel right here. There's going to be a sign that says Research A or Terraform A depending on which way you're facing. You're going to want to head towards the Terraform A sign and you'll have this little locked room on your left here. If you brought a lock pick, you can loot it up. There's also some escape pods behind this room on the left if you want to extract from the raid that way. Heading down the tunnel though, you're going to want to take a right. So that's the tunnel on our right right there. I'm just coming from a different angle. And then the vault is in this yellow building in front of me. Another way to figure out where things are is that wall. That big wall is only next to the building with the vault. So if you're ever lost, just look for that wall. But you come up here, the vault's right here on the second floor. And there you go. Alright, so if you need an easy way out after hitting the vault, you just come back over to the tunnel, go down here, hang a right behind the locked room, and you got escape pods right here. Alright, now we got the naval base. This map is pretty dangerous, so if you can manage to deal with the AI or avoid them and come out here to the big main room with all the tanks and the Metal Gear looking things, you're going to want to head down to this big main tower. It's got some good loot in it, but we're looking for the vault, so we're going to ignore the tower on the left there. We're going to take a right from the tower, head over here, and on the far left wall, we got the vault right here after I hit this ammo box. Yeah, there you go. After hitting the vault, if you want to get out quick, you take a right, go back past the tower, come over here to the back wall, and you got an escape pod right here. All right, now we got uh, what I call the prison map. So to find the vault here, you're gonna wanna come out to the cell block area. It's out in the middle. It's a big kind of circular room. And the thing you're really trying to get to is this uh, middle area. It looks like I'm checking some cells. Uh, but yeah, you wanna come out here to this big spiral kind of guard tower thing. And then if you want, there's loot on the level you enter on, the level below you and above. So tons of loose loot you can grab on your way up. 
So after you've looted whatever you want here, or if you just want to get to the vault, you head up to the very top, you cross the bridge here, you head across. There's loose loot in these cells, but you can skip that if you just want to get to the vault. You're going to want to look for this door right here. There might be a couple AI up here to deal with. And then these rooms up here also have some random loose loot as well. But yeah, you're going to hear footsteps below you quite a bit. There's a lot of AI running around on this map. It's nothing to really worry about. I haven't really seen any players up here. This might be the safest vault to hit. It's actually located over here in the locker room. It's pretty hard to miss. So yeah, there you go. This is the prison vault right here on the top floor in the cell block area. All right, and then if you're looking for a quick and easy way out after filling up on loot, you're going to want to come back down to the bridge on the second floor uh, the way you came to get up in the first place, and you'll see an escape pod straight ahead. So really easy, quick little loot run if you get used to the map and kind of figure out where everything is. Not too bad. Finally, we got the asteroid base, the asteroid mining facility, and this one is probably the most confusing. It's hard to get your bearings down and know where to go, but the best thing I can say to find this vault is kind of find the middle area with the space bike that I just passed there and keep heading down. Uh, once you find these stairs, you'll know you're in the right area, so you're going to want to head down these stairs. There's going to be a bunch of AI because there's other good loot down here besides the vault. And actually that foreman's office is where me and a buddy are going to stop first because there's a quest item in there. There's a gold ring, I believe, that always spawns on the safe there. That's something you're going to want to grab if you haven't done it for the quest yet. And just hold on to it so you can turn it in when you do have the quest. But yeah, heading down here, there's a bunch of stuff to loot. You can loot the office really quick. Uh, but as far as the vault, it's just to the right. So if you head down the stairs and ignore the office that I stepped into here, you can take a right. You'll see in just a second here. Yep. So it's over here. So if you, Basically, if you were to come down the stairs and wrap a hard right, like a U-turn around the corner, you got the vault back here. And actually, there's an elevator shaft right above the vault that leads to the furnace room and there's a bunch of quests in the furnace room. So I would say expect players to potentially be watching that uh, shaft right there. They can drop down, they can shoot at you. Something to be mindful of if you plan on looting the vault here. Got him, I got him. <laughs> got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, fuck. We still got this big boy to loot. Get fucked! Oh, <laughs> I don't know who got him, but good no, shit. I don't know. Fuck, dude. Rolled him. And the last thing I'll show you here is the furnace room. Uh, there's signs for it. It's not too hard to find. And then I was actually trying to find where the drop down was for the shaft here. Good thing to know about if you plan on hitting the vault or vice versa. You want to attack someone hitting the vault. And then if you need an easy way out of the mining base uh, and you know where the furnace room is or you can find the furnace room, back behind the furnace room is a little kitchen area and there's an escape pod just directly in that hallway. So there you go.